We are looking today at an article written in the St. Louis Globe Democrat on Saturday, October 19, 1957. This document can be found in the American Jewish Archives in Cincinnati, Ohio. The article headlined, Religion and Mental Health to be Theme of Institute Here, is a preview of the 5th Annual Institute of Religion and Psychiatry at Temple Sherameth in 1957. Rabbi Julius Gordon pioneered the Institute in 1953. Thousands of people attended the events that sought to complement the study of religion with that of psychiatry. This annual event, put on by the synagogue's men's club, mirrored a reform movement-wide phenomenon. The Central Conference of American Rabbis, or the CCAR, is a leading organization in the reform movement that connects and supports reform rabbis in North America. The CCAR also had a committee for religion and psychiatry that began in 1950. They sponsored events throughout the country, including some held at Sheremeth. Our main focus is not on the article itself, but on the drawing by Howard Brody placed just next to the article. Brody's famous drawing is titled, The Power of Faith. The caption to the drawing reads, Their faith stronger than the fear of death. Four chaplains on a sinking army transport in World War II gave away their life preservers so that four other men might live. Then they linked arms, these Protestant, Catholic, and Jewish chaplains, and went down with the Dorchester. This explanation of the drawing refers to the United States Army transport ship named the Dorchester. The Dorchester became a military ship during World War II and was sunk by a German submarine on February 3, 1943, on its way to Greenland. Eventually, the ship ran out of life vests, and so the four chaplains of different faiths gave up their own life jackets for other personnel on board. In this act, the men gave up their lives for the sake of their fellow shipmates. Survivors reported seeing the chaplains standing together praying for the well-being of everyone on board until their final moments. These men, George Fox, a Methodist chaplain, Alexander Good, a Jewish chaplain, Clark Pauling, a Baptist chaplain, and John Washington, a Catholic chaplain, are depicted in this drawing in the St. Louis Globe Democrat. In this picture, these men of different faiths are indistinguishable from one another. They are shown unified, holding on to one another in support and courage. The language of this caption indicates heroism and selflessness to the highest degree. They are lauded for their religious conviction by saying, Their faith stronger than the fear of death. No one man is a greater hero than the other. Difference of religion is celebrated, as they are all recognized equally. These men, while leaders of different religious groups, are united by their faith and as members of a larger group, humanity. The drawing is a carefully placed next to the article that previews the 5th Annual Institute on Religion and Psychiatry at Temple Sheremeth. This strategic pairing highlights the interfaith nature of the Institute itself. The event featured speakers from psychology backgrounds as well as Jewish and Christian clergy. The seminar focuses on the overlapping goals of the study of psychology with religion in general, not specifically Judaism. Each share the ultimate goal of helping people. As psychologists and religionists of all faiths, we can work together to make ourselves informed about how we can all help one another in the most effective ways. 
This message of the Institute was not only reserved for professionals, but also to lay members of the community. The pairing of this article and drawing happened in 1957. Its message celebrates diversity and encourages us all to work together rather than separately. The post-World War II period, particularly the 1940s and 50s, were characterized as the Tri-Faith Period. Tri-Faith America is Catholics, Protestants, and Jews promoting tolerance and challenging discrimination. The collaboration of clergy on a project like this Institute on Religion and Psychiatry typifies the changing relationships between religious groups happening in America at the time.